Yes, we're really happy to be here today. We are here for two reasons. Uh, one is that we are massive math geeks. That's uh, common with other people, a lot of people here. I want. Uh, I always want, and also I always wanted to be in a really, really cool band. These cool texts. Uh, they, these cool bands need cool texts, and that's. We are not uh, literary uh, geniuses of the 21st century. And on the other hand, we found out that that contemporary pop culture has some pretty simple texts. And this, th that's why we could thought, hey, maybe we can generate texts ourselves. So um, from uh, the <coughs> from the um, curb to the um, to mountain heights. Um, so uh, we took uh, the German rapper uh, Bushido, who wrote, wrote uh, from the um, curb to the skyline, and uh, from Go from Goethe, um, so cover Zeus your sky with clouds and practice like the boy on thistles, decapitation on oaks and mountain ranges. Um, um, we uh, and uh, Louis uh, came. Uh, yeah, and the, the the cost of the project, uh, we gained a nice person called Louis, who helped us give it give us a, the, his server, um, because we and that, therefore we can present the following feature. We have a website where you can try what you what we are presenting now. It looks like this: röhrig.info um, slash uh, Gedichte. You can uh, track this, and uh, then you can enter a couple of. Uh, sentence uh, words or uh, letters and then the algorithm generates a, a poem uh, or a couple of lines from this poem and then you can tw also twitter um, and and there's uh, yeah then there's the official camp hashtag and uh, yes yeah, so there's a warning we're not uh, specialists to um, uh, to maintain of bad many servers, so that it's possible that the server crashes. We're sorry about that, but it uh, uh, just just can't just so showed how it could that it could work. Um, the great question is how could it work? Um, well, pretty simple answer with supervised machine learning. I'm pretty sure uh, that there's a couple of people who know what it is. Uh, the others, uh, uh, I'll explain it uh, in three sentences. What we need from machine learning is uh, uh, first data, lots of data, and then and in couples. We need observations and goals. We need uh, What are these kind of observations? We need, to, for example, the weather data, and our goal would be uh, uh, to predict what the weather is tomorrow. Or uh, uh, we have an, or from Facebook, we have an observation like pictures, and we will, and the goal is. Uh, to find out who do we want to see. So Lisa, Tom and Klaus, for example. And what we do then is that uh, uh, we throw our observations and our goals in complex models. That's the core of supervised machine learning, that we choose the right models and um, cure them in the right way. And then we can uh, do two things. We can uh, make put in new observations and uh, and then it the model tells us, uh, you know, if you put a new picture, there's also Lisa on it, not only Tom and Klaus, and we can uh, also um, take pairs, uh, observe, and generate observations and uh, goals. So for example, physicians do this um, when to find out in which regions uh, particles collide. Um, this is nothing, not too much to do with uh, poems and texts, but we know for once uh, that we need data. We took uh, data mining, we got some data, for one and a half meg uh, megabytes of poems from Goethe, Schiller, Puschido, Sido, KZ, this German uh, hip-hop app, uh, uh, Crews and uh, and rappers, and we then we got a 500 megabyte Wikipedia dump. Wikipedia, you can remember Wikipedia is not about poems, um, but we'll talk about what we what we need that for. So remember. Um, after the data, the complex models come. Um, so uh, the problem is. Uh, the complex models are models are um, these sentences are sort of you know it's not mathematical how how do we get these sentences models so we take uh, 
we take a uh, text, we take it in simple size or so cover this your sky, and we can uh, cut it up and it's, it's uh, some syllables, uh, it could be words, uh, uh, yeah, we took syllables here, it could be letters, and yeah, so cover this your sky. Yeah. And then the computer has units that can, they can deal with, and uh, what no mathematicians need, so we uh, numbers, so we index them. We give every single uh, syllable, we go, uh, take a, give a, no, a number, and um, the B has a zero, and so on, and so on. And the space has an index three. And then we continue. It's per quite perfect. Uh, com computers can work with numbers. and. Uh, and for the reasons we change the representation a little, we um, take it this way. We count all the syllables. Uh, in our examples, there are nine, and we take a vector and with nine zeros, and where everywhere the index is, is there's a one. So uh, then that's where we get a vector, and that's where we get a matrix. And on the fourth is. Yeah, if there's a, uh, uh, just a clear space, there's um, um, the space, then there's a zero at the one at the fourth uh, point. So, um, fourth element. Uh, so, it makes much sense to do this. You'll explain it later. So, now we can get to the complex model. Maybe not yet. I don't know. So, what did we do? We did a lot of te we took a lot of text and then we uh, took uh, took it and made it to uh, you know got the computer to read it. So we have the observations. It's uh, what we read. That's pretty much the observation. And now the what is the goal? Well, the goal is we've got to ask our, ourselves what the, is the model supposed to do. What our model is doing, and what most uh, language models are doing, is taking taking the next unit uh, and predicting it uh, upon based upon the next one. So when I start uh, with B, uh, the next syllable should be D, uh, or uh, or in English, CO and VR. Uh, and there are with Himmel, we say Himmel, if we, if we, if we have Bedeckedein Him, then we would not have Mel. We, so we move the text fields by one, and uh, I have, the Southern Network has to know what comes later. So, and then uh, we come to, uh, we have a, yeah, we have a, uh, uh, yeah, if you see at the animation that um, the, um, the uh, yeah you put up the uh, info and then that's the same in English you know and then we put it in the neural network and then we get out uh, um, uh, um, probabilities. What comes next? Okay. So we take the um, we take Mel and then. Uh, what uh, yeah? What does the model look like? Uh, we take me the syllable mel, and then we have the representation here, uh, so it doesn't get into the uh, model as mel, but as zero 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 what I want, and uh, as vector, and we multiply a matrix to it. Uh, that's the weights, and we get a vet vector by that. And uh, for those who aren't to that comfortable with maths. Um, you just got to, th uh, you know, just wait and wait for it, then you get poems. And the vector that gets represents the mel, uh, we, we, yeah, we multiply with the matrix, and then we get uh, the representation at the, at the end, an inner representation or a hidden representation of our syllable. And then we take the same uh, uh, with, a, with another weight uh, that we call way uh, w out, and that's, um, uh, there's a vector uh, that there's uh, well the um, yeah the values add up to one if you think about it the the smart ones will notice anyway I'll uh, um, explain it for the others um, the super uh, probability uh, distribution um, we can for one yeah for for based on the syllable mel we can say probable uh, we have a probability of a space. Um, so, uh, yeah, um, ideally we get a uh, space. So if we want the network, uh, if we want, to, we, uh, we want to know what comes after Mel. Uh, so we do the same 
the him the syllable before we multiply with the same matrix we get an inner representation and uh, we have to introduce it that that's what we need another matrix for and add it to the inner representation uh, and I can successively uh, continue that uh, until uh, whenever as long as we want to do it and uh, that's the whole secrets uh, of the model. We can uh, uh, take a little later ones and then add, add them to it and uh, hope that the, they get the information from the back. And um, yeah, that, so at some point we get a sensible next syllable. So some people would say, well, pff, what does that uh, may what does that make to uh, happen with poems? Uh, Why is the role of the poems in there? And that's the black magic with this. That uh, that's you. Uh, that's the the answer is the, that you have to um, um, train the network by uh, you know, gaining the weights because I don't want to tell say too much about this because it's not that easy but it yeah it took uh 20 years to get that i talked a lot about the model so i'm ready so i want to take a, a poem from the first model um uh, uh, victims are on the street with our friends it is a street with the heavy street the street heavy it is as heavy as the tail is the tail because the street is heavy like the tail like your head. I am the tail and the heavy and look I am again in the pigs and the that street is heavy that street is heavy and again it does not work anymore. So add, uh, tail is here actually uh, cock or penis. Might be. Yeah, it is. It's Bushido. So what did we give to the network? We just gave him single uh, letters. We did not give it syllables, but we did not give it a single syllable. So what he learned is it learned to build German words. They are all German words. They are very similar, and it's a lot of the seven, the same words. But it learned some, and there is some grammar to it. It still sounds a bit strange, but all right. So we wanted to have more, and we took the uh, on uh, um, German radio station, and they took the vocabulary in German rap things and we saw that Zido and Bushido have a very small vocabulary not as bad as another singer but still very small Helene Fischer sings German folk music and is not well liked here so we decided we take f few of their texts and we take Kuninger and it said because they have a lot of number uh, words, so we take one of the very first uh, uh, pages where we say we also add Wikipedia data, but because that makes sense now because we say, hey, with the complex data with the Wikipedia data, because that just learns a lot of basic things about the German uh, the, um, uh, words because it that way it learns where to pay commata and we don't need that many data there. So we train our client with an improved data set, word set. So we created the following um, uh, thing, which you can also see on our server. From the corners to, uh, to the high of the flame, uh, mountains. It's nice, the tail of the nice in the human and the pigs and the ward follows through the day silent. The hearts in the beds of the night, of the stars are heavy, the body on the mouth, in the street, in the corner, in the wide wrapper. Women saw the coat and the string and the tail, the women I gave the king and uh, so on. So still makes no sense and a lot of different words just put together. So, last example, I wanted to say thank you for everybody who helped and a great welcome to Louis as well that it works today. He helped a lot that it works today. Great applause to them.
and to Fabian as well. They also helped that it all looked better than we had planned it, and all the CCC team that made this possible. Thank you very much also to you that you dared to come onto the stair and that you presented it to the others. No, I also want to take the opportunity to ask some questions. There's a lot of time for questions. Please come to the microphones to, and the um, aisles come to the front. Are there any questions? Yes, we have a lot of time. Yeah, someone comes there with a question. Microphone, please put the microphone close to the mouth. Yeah. Hello. Oh, big room. Awesome. I'm just a bit late because you renamed it and I, it was all a bit short term. That sounded a lot like that's what the machine did according to the data, the song text you ed gave it to it. Is that right? Yes. And there's a possibility to use that with other text on your own? It is possible to do that with all sequential data. So you could put your Linux kernel into it and it might put out functional learning calling. You could add your math, math encoded um, math book into it and it will put output um, LaTeX. And I'm an, the other side, it's, I'm, an, um, I'm an author and I would like to know what word count I have. Can you do that? So I just learned the word word count. Yeah, that is the amount of different words that these artists have used for their songs. Yes, thank you very much. That was really interesting. Yes, hello. Thank you very much. I've played around with it during the talk with the website, and I noticed that at the end there's a lot of, often there's one letter, just one letter. Is that a bug? Or glitch, and the other said, "I'm sorry, it shouldn't happen." What? How many words do you let enter? Just one to three words. Try it again. <laughs> I just wanted to ask what it means, and it apparently means nothing. It's just a bug. Maybe I did not really get it, but which Wikipedia dump? Why does that was included? What are, why did you include the Wikipedia dump? It was added, and many people like to edit for really working uh, uh, models, and you want to give it in the right direction. So they learned, for example, the German words from the Wikipedia dump. And then you just add the song text on top of that, and because of that, it has a higher weight than the Wikipedia dump. No. Because we edit it afterwards, and we lose some of the Wikipedia information, so we get more uh, poem-like structure rather than a uh, Wikipedia-like structure. There's another question from the left. Did you do the same with the English Wikipedia? A lot of people have tried to do that with the English Wikipedia. Yes. I can... Uh, recommend Alec Grave's paper or Rough Ray Hinton if you want to look it up. And a ready-made implementation, is that also available? Yeah, several. Thank you very much. And left again. Hello, and thank you for the presentation. Um, I would like to know which extension you see, especially towards rhymes or the um, verses. Interestingly, most of the models that work at the moment are with letters. That has the advantage that the vocabulary, so the length of this vector is reasonably small. So there are just like just uh, 36 letters. And if you take syllables, there are quite fast 7,000 long vectors. And usually most people just use letters. And we thought, hey, we could try it with syllables. So maybe he gets this rhythm into it, but it did not work that well, unfortunately, with our example. On the other end, it's just a really active scientific field, so a lot of things happened there quite fast. But you could also you could assume if you give the algorithm a lot more poems, maybe that would help. So we have we had more than 
uh, we had less than a fourth of just normal text that might improve it. Can we send you uh, poems to you and you just feed them, or do we have to do it ourselves? It's not that hard to do it on your own, but if you have more questions, I'll be available. We'll be available later. Please go to the website and try it, please. And tweet the funny um, poems you, it creates. And we would like to be say sorry if should there be inappropriate content that might happen. We quality rep is not a pro, uh, politically correct, but it just may happen to be really bad. So thank you very much to the two who gave us this many n great new ideas, and also thank you to you to listening into the translation. Uh, this is a translation from.